Welcome to today's video where I'll show you how to plot the efficient frontier in Excel. As a reminder, in the previous video, we covered how to calculate the risk and return for a two asset portfolio by using these formulae here. In this video, we cover how to plot these risk and return figures to graphically show the efficient frontier. To do this, first you select the return and risk columns, then go into the insert tab click the scatter charts icon and then click more scatter charts and finally select this fourth option here. You'll notice that currently risk is on the Y axis while return is on the X axis. Now to swap this around, right click the graph, click select data and then click edit. As you can see, the X axis is currently showing the values in column D while the Y axis is showing the values in column E. To switch this around, we can simply change the letters around like this. Therefore, the X axis is now showing the return figures, while the Y axis is showing the risk figures. Let's now adjust the positioning of the chart so that it doesn't hide our table. We can now take a few steps to format the chart. Firstly, let's remove the title, add data labels, and also add access titles. Next, let's format the axis bounds to make the data labels less squashed. So that's how you can plot these risk and return figures. Let's now interpret the efficient frontier. Our chart is mapping the various portfolios and their respective risk and return figures. And as rational investors, we want to know which portfolios will deliver the highest possible return for the lowest possible risk. Starting with the first value in our charts, which corresponds to a weight of 100% in stock B and 0% in stock A, has a high risk and low return compared to the values above it. We can improve our portfolio risk return ratio by going up the curve. The point above is better because it has a lower risk and higher return, and so is the point above this one. However, this point, which corresponds to a return of 0.7%, is better than all of the points below. It has a higher return for a lower level of risk. Therefore, we don't want the portfolio weightings below this point as they're suboptimal. The efficient frontier refers to all the portfolio combinations including and above this point, which is the minimum risk portfolio. In other words, picking any of these points would make sense depending on your risk return trade-off. Now, any portfolio below this point should not be chosen because it is suboptimal. For example, this point has the same risk as this point. However, this point has a higher return, therefore it makes more sense to select the weights in A and B that lead to this portfolio. So that's how you can graph the efficient frontier for a two stock portfolio in Excel. In the next video, we'll cover how to use the Excel solver function to find the exact portfolio weightings that lead to the minimum risk portfolio. In other words, the portfolio with the lowest standard deviation. Please give this video a thumbs up if you found it useful and subscribe to the Excel Hub for weekly Excel tutorials, techniques, and examples.